Hello everyone, uh, this is iHi, and I'm actually here to bring you a review on uh, something I recently purchased. Um, the objective of my purchase was to find a way to convert between HDMI and, and component signals. Um, I have an APOG HD PVR Gaming Edition, and instead of having to swap uh, the component cables between consoles, I decided to find an HDMI to component converter that way it's a lot easier to swap out uh, HDMI cables versus component cables. So I went online and uh, did some research and uh, you know ended up with the mono price uh, HDMI to component and uh, right left stereo audio converter. Um, it uh, went around for about $40 um, and then some uh, shipping brought it up to about $45 and uh, here's what you get. So, um, first of all, just wanted to comment on the packaging. Um, it's a very sturdy box and uh, not, not flimsy any chance, so, you know, uh, very good uh, storage in case you need to put it away. And I wanted to uh, extra comment on, on this lid here. Um, at first, I was looking at this box, I'm like, how do you open it? You know, I tried pushing in uh, this, maybe because I thought this was an like outer casing and you could slide it. Uh, but you can't but however there is a, a lid that opens up this is where the uh, uh, converter comes in uh, but uh, just wanted to mention that there are magnets which hold the lid together uh, securely so to me you know this box is a uh, pretty luxurious pretty luxurious packaging compared to you know some of the other um, uh, things you may buy that are very flimsy and a thin uh, paper cardboard based. Um, so this is the converter right here. It's very small, very lightweight. The casing is metal. So you know, I mean, not that I would do this, but you know, it probably would take a lot more abuse than the plastic counterparts. Um, you got your HDMI input. It's got the um, power supply, which I'll show you later, and the uh, component outputs with audio. Now, it comes with a, an instruction manual, a user manual, which uh, pretty much explains, you know, specifications and how to use it. It's pretty simple. I didn't even look at this the first time, uh, and everything went well when I tested it, so um, I won't comment too much on that. And finally, you have the power supply. Pretty simple. Plug it in the back there and plug this to your uh, electrical outlet. Um, I'll be right back, and I'm going to actually grab uh, some of my setup and show you how this performs. Alright guys, it's iHi again, and I'm here to show you the setup here that I uh, have put together here. Um, first, I want to introduce the Sony PlayStation, the Fat Edition. Uh, purchased that when it first came out in North America. Uh, second is the uh, HD, uh, excuse me, Hapog HD PVR Gaming Edition, uh, courtesy of my girlfriend, I love you. Uh, and third, we have the HDMI uh, to component converter from Monoprice. And as you can see, the setup is pretty simple. The HDMI cable goes from the PlayStation into the input of the converter, and the component cables go from the output of the converter to the uh, HD PVR. Now, I don't have a small enough TV with component capability to bring down here and plug into TV. But uh, for my per primary purpose, um, I wanted to use this for the HD PVR, so that's why I have it plugged into that, and that is why I'm using my laptop uh, as a monitor, so to speak, to show you what the display looks like um, when everything is plugged in. Now, everything looks fine and good, right? I mean, the screen, uh, I mean, from where I'm sitting, it looks very good at 720p. Um, by the way, as a note, if you're using the HD PVR, you want to set up your PlayStation to 720p because, uh, first of all, the HD PVR doesn't support 1020, 1080p. Uh, second of all, the 1080i selection um, doesn't really work well between the converter and HD PVR. Uh, I couldn't get it to work, um, so I had to set it down to 720p, and uh, now it's working fine. Um, now. I'll just guess I'll turn on the sound in a minute, but um, first thing I want you to see is that you'll notice on the right hand side, uh, this is what I saw too. I'm like, what is that? So I noticed that the screen, um, there's a little gap there, and which indicates that the display itself 
is off center. Now, to me, you know, the off centeredness is towards the left, and you know, as a result, the the right side here is is lacking any picture. But um, in order to help confirm things, in Modern Warfare Three actually has a feature where you can adjust the in-game HD display, vertical and horizontal. So in case, you know, different TVs have different resolutions, um, like sizes, and your uh, HD may or may not get cut off, so you adjust it. But when I go into the options here, okay, and let's uh, scroll down here to the horizontal margin. Now you notice that the arrow pointing to the right uh, is already at max. I, I mean the bar here already has uh, is maxed out from my previous TV. So it should be stretching, but it's not going any further than you know this particular uh, area here. And that's because of the off-centeredness of the display. And then if you look over here to the left, the arrow, the left arrow is already off the screen almost. I mean, there's only just a, a few uh, edges uh, of the arrow left. And uh, that's going to cut off, you know, a certain part of the left display. You know, um, I'll show you an example later on in the video, which I have mistakenly recorded, but actually turned out to be a great example of me uh, showing uh, what was cut off. But in order to compensate for that, you have to, you know, bring down the horizontal margin just as, you know, quite a bit here. I mean, we're talking a lot. And, you know, right about here, maybe, okay, right about here, this is where you can actually see the left margin. And then the right, um, you know, you, you see that a lot has to be uh, compensated for that uh, off-centeredness. Vertical, there's a not... It's not that bad. I mean, it's actually a lot better than the horizontal off-centeredness. You can see that the top uh, is right on target, but the bottom here, there's a slight deviant. Um, it's actually, you know, going the, the pointer of the arrow is actually going off the uh, edge of that screen. And again, you have to kind of turn it down a little bit for it to uh, be on point and right about there. So you can see the difference in the... Um, adjustments I had to make between the horizontal margin and the vertical margin. Now, gameplay-wise, you're probably not going to notice much of a difference. I mean, um, just to see that little bit uh, in the, on the left side, you know, it will, probably won't make or break your, your game, obviously, but it's just really annoying to have to, uh, you know, work with this and adjust. Um, I, I expect that the converter to uh, pretty much be you know a uh, center display, but then after noticing this um, kind of turned me off and wanting to um, use the device any further and uh, also just wanted to mention that I did the same test with the H uh, with the Xbox 360 same um, same issue and also you know just for the sake of argument um, if there is something up between HD, PVR, and the converter, I decided to try it with just a regular TV, you know, uh, LED TV that I have, which has component capability. And uh, again, I also suffered the same fate of the off-center display. So, um, with that, uh, I do want to mention that the converter itself does provide very good quality. I mean, uh, I, when I recorded uh, some videos, um, I didn't notice any uh, deviances in the quality. I mean, 720p went through flawlessly. Um, however, there's some lights that associate with the HD PVR um, whenever you record. It's on by default. And uh, uh, when I started recording, the front LEDs uh, actually started blinking a little bit. I mean, very so, every so often, not uh, you know, not constantly, um, but you know, that doesn't happen when you're plugging in, um, you know, through the normal channels. But with the converter, there might be some, some underlying issue that causes that to happen. And uh, so, you know, out of fear, I decided to turn off the um, recording LEDs uh, just so it's not going to cause the HD PBR any grief. And uh, also, at some point when I was recording videos from the Xbox, and I know this is not system dependent or anything, but... 
um, the video ended up cutting out on me, and I noticed that the converter box, the rent uh, power LED was blinking, and I, I have no idea what happened there. I basically powered down everything, powered everything back up, and it, you know, the issue went away. So maybe a minor overload on the converter part. I'm not sure. I mean, when I touch it, it's not warm. Um, by the way, uh, does not have any type of rubber feet. So if you're planning on uh, planning it on a flat surface, you may want to invest in maybe some rubber feet to you know keep it steady. Uh, and, and won't be slipping and sliding anywhere. Otherwise, you know, you'll get this. Um, when I first set it up, it was actually in the air, so I wasn't too concerned about that because the wires themselves were kind of holding it up there. Um, so I didn't really have to, uh, uh, you know, go for that feature. Um, so uh, there you have it. So again, uh, for my purpose, the uh, HD, I mean, excuse me, the HDMI to component converter didn't quite work out for me for my... Uh, Recordings because of the off-centeredness and um, I felt like again, I you know for The device it should be you know having a, a displayed centered uh, picture and everything like that I mean just easy in easy out basically um, and then also uh, I did run into an issue with running uh, this converter to a TV and if I set it up to 1080i uh, or 1080p uh, on a PlayStation, I noticed that the uh, PlayStation menu font was a little fuzzy um, or um, like a little ghosting would appear on those uh, fonts. So turning it back down to 720 again worked out. Um, so there's my review. Uh, again, uh, kudos to those that got it to work and uh, work flawlessly for their intentions. I noticed that this uh, device had a lot of good reviews, which is why I uh, you know, wanted to try it out, but again, for my purpose, it didn't quite work out. And uh, for forty dollars, it wasn't that bad uh, of a of a of a spill. Uh, but I intend on returning it uh, because I'm gonna try something else and recoup that money back and put it towards the uh, the next uh, best thing here. So uh, once I get that in, um, I'll go ahead and try it out and then put a review on that as well. All right, guys. Uh, in the meantime, take care and uh, have a great night. See ya.